So you have a iPhone SE third generation, the 2022 model, and you have an issue where you have a black screen. Even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is on. Maybe you can feel it vibrate. Maybe you get phone calls. Maybe you can uh, hear or feel notifications coming in. Or just to confirm that even though you have a black screen and your iPhone SE 3 is actually on, just go ahead and plug it in. Uh, take note that this one here is fixed, but let's pretend I had a black screen here. Okay, so even if you have a black screen, you should be able to hear that when you plug it in. Okay. So I'm going to give you several easy methods to get you up and running right now. Nothing to do with taking the phone apart or nothing, okay? By the end of this video, I'm going to say at least 70% of you guys should be up and running and your screen should be working, okay? So first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, let's pretend that my screen here is black, okay? So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and restart it using a special key combination on here, okay? And the special key combination is this. We're going to press volume up, volume down and press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear, okay? So we'll do this together. Let's pretend my screen is black here and we'll do it together. Ready? Go. Volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button, continue to hold that power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo. Pretend my screen here is still black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding on to this power button, waiting for an Apple logo to appear. Still holding. Oh, Apple logo is right there. Go ahead and let go and hopefully your screen is now back on okay if not we're going to go to the next possible step okay so if your screen is still black then the next thing is this okay so if you have a case on here let's go ahead and take the case off and leave the case off for the remainder of the steps okay next thing is let's go ahead to the power button here and what you're going to do is spam the power button okay so the power button you're going to press in and out like this spam it because a stuck, jammed, or loose power button, or maybe you have a lint or something stuck in there, can cause the black screen as well. Okay, so keep spamming like that. Do that a little bit, and then after you do that, now what we're gonna do is gonna go and plug our phone in. We're gonna give it some power. We're gonna plug it in, and let's pretend my screen here is still black. It's charging now, it's plugged in, and from here we're gonna do the uh, restart with the special key combination again, okay? So while it's plugged in and charging, we're gonna do it again, ready, go. Volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button. Do not let go of that power button until we see that Apple logo. Pretend my screen is black. I have no idea what's going on. I'm just holding onto this power button, waiting for that Apple logo to appear. Still holding. Come on, where's that Apple logo? Release the power button and wait for it to boot back up. And hopefully you are now out of the black screen. If you still are, we're going to go to the next possible option. So your screen is still black. So the next thing we're going to do is what I call the tap method. What we're going to do is tap all over the screen and all over the back, okay? Now the whole premise behind like tapping is you may have some, something slightly dislodged and a little couple taps can pop it on the place and your um, screen can turn right back on, okay? So go ahead and grab your phone. You want to hold it in your hand like this. Grab two fingers and we'll start off on the screen here. What you want to do is kind of press or tap all over kind of hard like this keep on going and as you're doing this you can go ahead and press on your power button to see if the screen is on or not okay sometimes you're doing this a little bit all over on the bottom and then you tap on the power button to wake it up all of a sudden your screen is on okay anyway if it's still black no problem just keep on tapping and now we're going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side you want to tap kind of hard okay all over now this is very important too. All around this lens, get all around the lens, okay? Keep on tapping. Turn the phone over. Let's tap on the power button and see if your phone wakes up, okay? Hopefully your screen is now working. If it's not, if it's still black, no problem. From here, we're gonna do the same thing with uh, restart it with the buttons. Remember, press volume up, volume down, and press and hold this power button and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear. Once the Apple logo appears, Go ahead and let go, and hopefully your phone is screen is now working. If not, we're going to go to the next possible solution. All right, so your screen's still black, no problem. Next thing we're going to do here is what I call the massage method. Why? Because we're basically going to go ahead and massage the screen and the back. The massage method is the same premise in regards to tapping. You might have something slightly dislodged, and a little press, a little massage can pop it back into place, okay? 
So we can start off on the screen here. You can use a rag or a cloth if you don't want to smudge up your uh, your screen. It doesn't matter what side you start on, but we're going to start on the front here. So pretend my screen here is black. I'm going to hold my phone like this. What I'm going to do is press in, give it like a nice massage. Press, press, okay? And even though the screen is black. Now sometimes as you're pressing like this, you're pressing. If you hear a little tiny click, then you want to go ahead and press, tap your power button and see if your um, screen is now turns on, okay? Anyway, black screen, no problem. Just continue to go all over on the, on the screen. Press, press, press. Nice massage. Same thing on the back here as well, okay? All over on the back of the phone. Press, press, press. Nice massage. Same thing on the back side, okay? If you hear a little click or you feel a click, turn the phone over, tap on the power button, wake it up, see if the screen is on. If it's still black, no problem. Turn it back over and just keep going. And also around the lens here too, okay? Don't forget, usually it's something around this area here, so press, press, press. Nice massage. And turn it over and then see if your screen comes on. If it's still black, no problem. From here, same thing. We're going to go ahead and restart it using the special key combination. So from here, remember, tap on volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button, and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear. Once the Apple logo appears, go ahead and let go, and hopefully now your screen is up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so you still have a black screen. So the next method I have for you is what I call the smack method. Why I call the smack method? Because what we're going to do is we're going to smack the phone. We're going to smack the back and smack the screen. Same premise behind the tapping and the massage, okay? So we can go ahead and just put your palm out like this. You can put a cloth on there if you don't want to smudge up your screen or whatnot. But we'll start off on the front of the screen here. So hold your, your palm out like this. Grab your phone. What I want to do is smack it like that. Also get the bottom, bottom part of the screen as well. Turn it over. Give it a couple smacks. And then bring your phone up and see if your screen turns on. Okay, if not, if it's still black, no problem. Now we're going to go ahead and smack the back, okay? So we're going to smack the back like this. Also on the back bottom. Turn your phone over and go ahead and wake it up and see if it's working. If it's still black screen, no problem. Same thing again. Restart it using the special key combination. Remember, tap volume up, volume down. Press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the Apple logo appear. Then go ahead and let go. And hopefully now you guys are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible solution. Okay, so this is the uh, last solution I have for you. Is what I call the freezer method. So what I want you to do is grab your phone like this, naked, no case or nothing on it. And I want you to go to your freezer. Put this in your freezer where it's nice and cold and leave it there for 15 or 20 minutes. After 15 or 20 minutes, go to your freezer, take your cold phone out, and go ahead and see if your screen is now working. If it's still black, no problem. With your cold phone, we're going to restart it using a special key combination, okay? So while the phone is nice and cold, we're going to press volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button, and do not let go until we see an Apple logo appear. Then we can go ahead and let go. Now, if you're still down, if you still have a black screen, another possible solution is what you can do is you can connect this uh, phone to your computer and go ahead and use iTunes. And you can try to factory reset or go into recovery mode right um, in a recovery mode as well. Okay, but I would suggest this instead of doing that, what I would suggest is starting back if it didn't work for you on all the steps start back from step number one try every step step number one two three four five all the way to the freezer method if it still doesn't work try it three times four times five try it up to seven times sometimes the seventh time is a charm and also if you guys have a screen protector on here and you went through the um you went through all the steps the first time and it's, and it's still black and you have a screen or a um screen protector on here Take off the uh, screen protector and do all the steps again, okay? Anyway, if this worked for you, uh, please comment below which step you think worked for you and give me a like. Like I said, we should have at least a 70% thumbs up, at least, okay? Good luck, guys.